welcome to the July 2008 edition of Outlook Video, your nationally recognized award-winning show for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender communities. I'm Raymond Donald Hong. And I'm John Myers, in for Roberta gonzalez Greg, who has this month off. Thanks for filling in. Anytime. John begins this month's show with his interview of Evan Lowe, who became our country's youngest openly gay elected official after being elected to Campbell's city council in the November 2006 election. John asks Evan about his recent selection as one of the community grand marshals for this year's San Francisco Pride Parade. On May 15th, the California Supreme Court struck down the state's ban on same-sex marriage in a broadly worded decision that would il invalidate virtually any law that discriminates on the basis of sexual orientation. The 4-3 ruling declared that the state constitution protects a fundamental right to marry that extends equally to same-sex couples. The ruling injects this highly emotional issue into this election year while opening the way for tens of thousands of gay people to marry in California. Later in the program, we'll bring you coverage from county clerk recorders' offices as they begin issuing gender-neutral marriage licenses starting as early as 5.02 p.m. June 16. Ken Yeager, the first openly gay representative elected to the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors, was commissioned to perform marriages, including same-gender cut marriages, that were declared legal by the California Supreme Court. Supervisor Yeager said, It is my pleasure to share in this joyous and historic occasion. Very few people even dreamed this day would arrive, but now thousands of same-gender couples can have their unions recognized with the same validity as other married couples. You work for Ken, don't you? I sure do. Mm. Later, we celebrate nearly five years that Tom Smith has co-hosted with Roberta gonzalez Gregg, bringing us insightful interviews both in our studios and out in the field. We'll all miss his enthusiastic energy as we strive to fill his shoes. On Betty Sullivan's Health Matters, she continues her breast education campaign with an interview with UCSF nurse Deborah Himalski. And finally, Raymond and Ken Hodnett are, were busy on May 15th as they covered the California Supreme Court's announcement of their decision on same-sex marriage. We'll bring you a reaction from the community later this half hour. But first, John's interview with Campbell City Council member Evan Lowe. Hi, I'm Gilbert Baker, and you're watching Outlook Video. At the age of 23, Evan Lowe became possibly the youngest openly gay elected official in the country after winning a seat on the Campbell City Council. He is now beginning his second year in that position and was recently selected as Community Grand Marshal of this year's San Francisco Pride Parade. Welcome, Evan. Thanks for having me. Good that you could be here. Uh, so I guess pretty soon we'll be seeing you away from the top of a float on the San Francisco Pride Parade. How's that feel? It's pretty exciting. It's a great experience. Many people come uh, to the San Francisco Bay Area every uh, June uh, to celebrate this wonderful celebration um, and really recognizing the contributions of the LGBT community. You're not necessarily from San Francisco. I mean, you're a South Bay City Council member. So, but I know that you're you're very active in other areas of the Bay Area, the Bay Area communities, and different organizations. So, do you think that was what maybe got you as a as a good selection for Grand Marshal? You know, I was uh, really honored with the opportunity, and what's really uh, something that I t take notice to is that uh, the San Francisco Pride Committee. Uh, looked at individuals throughout the Bay Area and oftentimes we here in the South Bay feel like there's a disconnect with that of the South Bay Silicon Valley and that of San Francisco. There's somewhat of a gap in between and so uh, it's really great to really connect uh, the geographical region and show and highlight the contributions of our community. You're partway into your second year of, the, of your term on the Campbell City Council and I know that you're the first openly gay member of that council. Have you helped you know, the city of Campbell kind of respond to LGBT issues and, uh, and, and kind of take a stand on any LGBT issues affecting the community? Well, absolutely. I think that the, the community uh, uh, needs to hear our concerns and uh, needs to understand what the issues are of the LGBT community, uh, whether it be hate crime, uh, whether it be uh, equal benefits, those types of things are very important. And so uh, it's very important to have it out individuals uh, in the community. Uh, I can't tell you how many residents will come up to me and say uh, it's so important that uh, we have individuals representing us uh, in reflective uh, government governmental bodies of various organizations. So it is important. What were some of the successes that you've had and maybe some of the difficulties? Sure. Well, you know, a lot of people, uh, uh, was, they weren't sure exactly what 
an individual, uh, a gay individual would be like on a city council. In fact, a funny story is that uh, in the executive uh, a meeting that we had, I had an uh, individual department head come up to me and say, uh, come up and whisper and said, uh, I have a gay brother. Uh, and I said to him, well, why are we whispering about something like this? And uh, it was really interesting to see uh, the type of dynamic and how individuals will kind of relate uh, to uh, the LGBT community. You might get a chance to jump into national politics uh, during uh, this year's Democratic National Convention. Uh, if uh, Barack Obama might be chosen as the uh, Democratic nominee, you might be able to go as a delegate and cast your vote there. So how how did you choose Obama and how did that come about? Well, first I had to say that I was initially a John Edwards a supporter and uh, when Senator Edwards dropped out, I uh, did go over to uh, support uh, Senator Obama. Um, and I had the uh, honor and opportunity to serve on the uh, Democratic National Committee uh, Rules Committee uh, for the convention. And uh, I was appointed by Governor Howard Dean uh, for that. And uh, we're looking forward to that process and really representing not only the LGBT community, but also of the young community and also the Asian American community. And I think it's important for us to bridge those different sectors and, and communities. At 24, you have accomplished quite a lot already. So is there any advice you could give some of our, our younger community members about how they could get involved? Well, certainly there's different great organizations that they can get involved with, whether it be here locally in the Billy to Frank uh, LGBT Community Center, whether it be an organization like BayMEC, uh, getting involved in the political process. But I'd definitely encourage folks to uh, find a mentor, a young person, finding a mentor, someone they look up to, uh, to show them the ways and th find out about the learned experience that they have um, because it's so important. We're almost out of time, but I want to ask you real quick about Evan Loday. June 5th, 2006, was declared Evan Lowe Day in San Francisco by Mayor Gavin Newsom. And so, how did that happen? I mean, and how do you even celebrate Evan Lowe Day? Do you wear like a little Evan Lowe hat or something? Well, I was joking that, uh, to other folks that you can get free parking if you just put that up on the dashboard. Uh, but June 5th is uh, my birthday, and so uh, I was really honored by the opportunity to, to receive that recognition uh, from the mayor. Well, you could check out Evan Lowe's uh, contact information on your screen right here. Feel free to shoot him an email if uh, you have any questions. Thanks a lot for being here. Evan. Thanks again. Thanks. Let us all remember the hundreds of thousands of gay men and lesbians over the centuries whose love was not recognized or valued by society and thus not allowed to be nurtured or to grow. Let us remember the tens of thousands of gay men and lesbians who fought since Stonewall for equal rights under the law to counter the false stereotypes and myths about GLBT people. This was done by fighting in the courts, by participating in politics, and coming out to family and friends. All of this work has led us to this moment in time, the joining in matrimony of the first same gender couples in Santa Clara County. May I add what an immense honor it is for me personally to officiate over the marriages of Richard and David and Ronnie and Hannah. This is a day I have fought and hoped for over the last 25 years. You have a ring for Richard? I believe so. <laughs> Place and uh, hold the ring on Richard's ring finger and repeat after me. This ring I thee give. This ring I thee give. This ring I thee give. As, as a token and a pledge. As a token and a pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And enduring love. And enduring love. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. <laughs> now, that, now that you have joined yourselves in solemn matrimony, may you strive all of your lives to meet this commitment with the same love and devotion that you now possess. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a deputy commissioner of civil marriage, I now pronounce you married under the laws of the state of California. We'd love to get mail from you. Send it to Outlook Video at P.O. Box 390-996, Mountain View, California, 94039-0996. To contact us by telephone, call 408-293-3040, extension 205. Or you can send email to comments at outlookvideo.org. To learn more about Outlook Video and to get a list of our air dates and times, point your web browsers to outlookvideo.org.